and welcome back to my channel. So today's video, we're soaking more fossils because I've got a lot of fossils and they're all in need of soaking. So I thought I would just bring you guys along. You seem to be enjoying the last one, so why not do some more? Right, so I've got a load in front of me. I'm not sure how many are gonna fit in, but some of them I will show. Oh, I dropped it. That is terrible of me. So we've got a big Harposterus here, which you can see there's lots of mud in the middle. It just needs a good soak. So I'll just run and put this one in first and then show you guys dropping the other ones in. Um, da, 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 da. You guys are also getting a good view of my house. Um, so here it is. I'm going to go flip the camera around so you guys can see. Here is the bucket. Here is the fossil. We're going to put it in. Oh god, look at all of that. So mucky. And you can hear it. Can you hear it? I am filming on my phone, so I'm not sure the mic on my phone will pick it up, but I'll be quiet for a minute. You can hear the water really doing its job. And if I like rub it loads, look at, look at all of that. Jeez. You're a muddy fossil, but it already looks 10 times better. And you can see the ones at the back I did before, which looks so pretty. So we'll leave that one in there. I just realized that one was so muddy. You're not really going to be able to see me drop the other ones in. But I'll show you the others before I put them in so you can see the before. So these are the ones I'm going to drop in with that one. They're not as big, so that one's quite big, but they're sort of... I don't really... They're, they're, they're coaster size, we'll say. And this one's quite cool. This isn't an ammonite. You guys are probably so bored of ammonites right now. Um, this is just a nice, nice little shell fossil. I just like all fossils, basically. But I don't think all of these ones will fit. This one's really cool, though. I'll show you this one. <laughs> Look at that. It's, like, really weathered, but kind of beautiful nonetheless. So when all the mud comes out of this one, I think this is going to be a gorgeous piece. So I'll do that one in a separate video because that's going to need a big bucket just for itself. Right, let's go pop these ones in. So it's time to take them out the water and I've taken a few out already and just dabbed them dry so you can see, but look how nice they turn out compared to how muddy they were before. Like these ones need a little bit of extra work, like just in the inner whirls. All I'll use is a harder nail and a hammer, and that should all come out quite nicely. I might not even need the hammer. I might be able to just scrape it out. And then this one's a lovely little one. Uh, this one might need a hammer. It's actually got got like a chunk of rock in the middle. Um, but I think that'll flick out really easily. The rest of it is beautiful, though. Ta-da! And then this is a little Hildoceros ammonite that, again, needs a little bit of work, but uh, it looks a lot better than it did covered in mud. <laughs> so there are those three. And then in here we've got another big Harposerus ammonite. So I'm just going to shake it dry and pop it on there. So, again, it looks like the middle is going to need some extra work um, just to get it cleaned up perfectly. But I think... I think it will flick out, but only time will tell. I always think things and then something completely different happens. The fossil will do whatever the fossil wants to do, but it looks lovely as it is, so if I can't get that out, it's not the end of the world. I think it looks fine just as it is. And then here we have a lovely Hildoceros ammonite. This one's got a groove in it, um, which is just, it just means it's a different species. Well, genus of the species. It's still a Hildoceros. And there we go. You can see the groove a bit better now. Pretty sure the, that one has a groove as well. Yeah, it does. And that's that one. And then what else is in here? It's so murky, it's like hard to tell. Oh, here is... I think it's an oyster, this one. Nice oyster fossil. Ta-da! This one looks pretty similar to what it was. It just isn't as dusty now. So I'll put that there. I'm running out of towel. I didn't really place this towel, towel very well, did I? <laughs> oh, well. Let's just dab that dry. I like this fossil because it's it's different. It's not an ammonite. <laughs> not that I have anything against ammonites. I've got it tattooed on me, for God's sake. But, yeah, it's nice to find something a little bit different occasionally. And, ooh, we've got... Something. Let's just rinse it off. I love how I'm rinsing it all off in really dirty water. I should have like a separate bucket. This is another Hildoceros ammonite. Ba -ba -ba. We'll place that there. We'll, we'll dry it on the corner. 
and then we'll place it there <laughs> just like that so they might need a little bit of work these ones just in places but the overall like they're a lot better than they were just from soaking them which is amazing so when I eventually get round to soaking them uh, soaking them cleaning them up I will but for now at least they're ready to be seen and passed around because when they're so muddy it's not really nice to hold them because it goes all over your clothes so it's quite nice to have them clean here's a really really tiny little harposterus so these big ones here are harposterus ammonites and this is just a smaller one so we've got like size order going on here very cute and then is there anything else oh we've got another fairly sizable one this one's quite muddy still it's because the mud has settled on top of this one so I just needed to flip it around there we go give it a shake so this is a lovely Hildoceros there you have it that's quite a nice one as well again just in the middle here i'll try and flick this bit out i can't quite do it with my finger so it won't need much work it'll literally just take a tap um and then be done i'm really will that stay there probably not we'll put it on the corner for now i don't think there's many more in there <laughs> just ammonites everywhere so that's the batch i'd already done um for a previous video you might have already seen it so let's just get this little one out which still looks I need to get a scrubbing brush because I just can't get into the grooves like in the middle but you can you can see a lot more detail than you could before it went in so we'll just dab that one dry no that looks really nice because I like this one because it's actually been like crushed slightly. You can see it's not as round as some of the other ones. So it's actually been crushed before it got fossilized, which is quite cool, I think. There is so much sand in the bottom of this bucket. I think this is the last one. I'll do a double check in a minute. Oh, bollocks. Yeah, I'll do a double check in a minute. And here we have an even tinier Harposerus ammonite. So that can go... <laughs> With the harposteruses isn't that cute <laughs> it's like in size right i think that is all of them yeah so this is them all cleaned up just in case you wanted to get an even better look Ta -da! so that's all i got for you guys today i really do hope you enjoyed this video of me washing my fossils um i just love the difference it makes by dropping them in water um they do need a bit of work some of them but overall, they, they're looking pretty snazzy. So I really do hope you enjoyed watching this. Um, if you did, let me know. Please like and subscribe. Also in the comments, if there's any videos you'd really love to see, I'll get around to making them, I'm sure. So just drop a comment with a suggestion and I'll be happy to try and make that for you guys. But thank you again for watching and hopefully I'll see you next time. Bye.